Hello and welcome to my blog. And uh, number one, I want to thank you. I want to thank you all for really keeping up uh, here with this work that we're all doing together. I see your comments and uh, I support you with all my heart. I know it is not easy to be aware of oneself so that we can work on the other selves. But uh, gosh, we're doing it. We're doing it every, every day, every step of the way. And I just want to tell you that I am there with you all the time. And today I have a question for you. And the question is, who your boss working for? I was inspired by a conversation that I have with a friend of mine. And it's so amazing how we see the relationship of boss and employee being one way. Like, I work for him, so I, uh, he should think about me, and uh, I should be getting a raise, and this, and da 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 But have we ever asked ourselves, who is the boss working for, and what is the boss going through to really pay us our salary? every month, every week, every two weeks, whatever your salary is and whenever you get it. But anytime I ask that question, it's like a blank. Like, huh, never thought of it. And I realize that until you really, really answer that question, it is hard to find passion in your work. Because any work that goes one way and you feel like you're the only one that's giving, it's tiring. It's tiring. So most of the time, that's why we're tired, is the belief that, wow, I'm just the one giving. That is the belief that is making you tired and making you not bring your passion into your work. And it is about time that we really ask that question, who is the boss working for? Well. I myself is an uh, 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 entrepreneur. My house, I have uh, five people working for me, so it is not different than uh, people that have thousands of people working for them. And I can tell you that the people that work for me occupy most of my thoughts. <laughs> I really do feel like I'm working for them. Anytime they have anything going on in their lives, you, the boss, you're kind of to see how to really take care of it, find a solution, and make an opportunity for everybody in your business. So again, when uh, I share myself as somebody who has employee, it's almost like you feel people telling you, you are not a human, almost, just because you have money, or just because you can do it. It's almost like taking for granted what you really choose to do, because everything is a choice. And I see that being myself an entrepreneur doesn't really stop the thoughts of humans, the thoughts of the conditionment that is coming from childhood. What I mean by that is I can really have a thought of, oh my God, this is too much, this is overwhelming. If I stop everything, the, the, the money, I can use it for myself. I mean, uh, when they come and ask for any money, it's like, why? They already have their salary, why should I? I mean, all those thoughts are not gonna stop because you're the boss. And I want you to really acknowledge that because until you do, you feel disconnected with whoever is your boss. Being the boss or having money doesn't stop you from being exactly a human being who has thoughts and beliefs that is running all the time. And they are where they are and they are the boss where they are just because they could fight certain beliefs. And that make them to be wherever they are in their lives. And wherever you are is because of what you believe. That's why you're there. So again, this vlog is to really bring yourself 
into your job. Bring your connection back with your boss. And maybe that will create passion into what you're doing. And seeing your boss as really somebody like you might change definitely the way you carry yourself at work. And the way you carry yourself at work and knowing that you spend more time at work than you are anywhere else might change maybe the way you live your life. I hope that was very clear. Again, your boss is not any different than who you are and have all the beliefs, but still every day make a choice to run he or hers enterprise. And the enterprise is not the walls, it's the people that are working for him. So let's give it back to them and see how we can work with them and feeling like we are an extension of the boss and not somebody who is definitely limited because of the boss. I love you all and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>